Facebook calendar events. You know, I saw um, explosions in the sky just add a ton of dates, and it's not really something bands were doing at an earlier date. Is there, do you know, if there's a this big push to get more social with brands and bands? I mean, I think all of you know, you know, the, the music industry is going through such a huge transformation right now, and I think um, you know, so much of what's going to happen over the course of the next four days um, is you know, is a conversation about. You know, how to take advantage of digital distribution and the internet and you know direct relationship with your fans there's all kinds of companies that have been started to help with that and, and just the whole sort of um, sort of environment of music is, is changing you know really quickly I mean myspace is a cool one <laughs> Boo space you know so the um, I guess that's the bands are really upset because myspace was such a great yeah. place to host tracks and playlists yes. and all this stuff and like Facebook is, you know, thankfully, music and uh, yeah. inverted pages and uh, uh, same contrast fonts are now gone from our vernacular, but still. Well, it seems that YouTube has been coming up in the ranks after Lady Gaga gets all these hits on there, and then Vivo as yeah, well. Vivo really is. Yeah. They're, they're going. Well, it's also their <coughs> joint partnership, right. so it's in tandem, definitely. Yeah, for sure, YouTube and the Vivo content on YouTube is the most successful on-demand music service, yeah. you know, we have right now. I, I do find that there is this still this need to connect fans with bands and yeah. brands, yeah. and that's something that we want to do. And you know, it's it, it's such a fragmented environment. You know, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Foursquare, there's on and on and on and on and on that nobody wants to go and click on all these things to find out when this band is playing and you know get the quick up to the minute update like be here now to get free tickets or you know anything like that. It's eventually we envision to have that one connection site, that one connection button that you can follow along everywhere with, uh, you know, any type of band or musician you want to. What do you, what do you envision this uh, in the air that yeah. you're doing with New Air to help this along? So I, what I really want to do is collaborative storytelling. So when you're at a venue, at a concert, taking pictures with your friends, you have to then upload them. Maybe you don't do it real time because, like events like this, cell phone coverage is bad. Concerts sometimes get overloaded as well, or you don't have a good signal in the dome. Uh, so what I think would be really cool is to uh, have my technology scanning the room and your friends around you, and automatically queuing up the personal relationships. So we know where you are based upon the venue. We know who's around you based upon your friends' IDs. And then when you upload all those pictures, it goes into a storybook. So. You no longer have to say, hey, Tom, you know, can I get your pictures? You know, post them on Flickr because I don't like the resolution of Facebook. Or Damien, can I come, you know, give you a thumb drive and copy those shots yeah. down? Um, we all have connected devices now, and increasingly, as smartphones get to be 8 to 10 megapixels, which is just, like, ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but maybe with uh, better lenses, we'll be able to use all of those megapixels. <laughs> but have it auto-tag. I think it's so lame that we have to sit there and uh, <laughs> manually tag. It's such a rudimentary operation. But well, the thing about it is that I know for myself especially, humans are lazy. I don't want to be an administrative assistant. I just want it to happen. I want to just press once or just have my device sense it. There's a, there's a brilliant app called Into Now, and it's none of ours, but I, I personally love it, I, just because it makes it's my it's life genius. easier. It is, it's, I, I like to liken it to Shazam for video yep. with people that don't know it. So it's an iPhone app, I believe other platforms that you just tap a little button and it starts listening to the program you're listening to and it miraculously finds the exact program, not just the TV show, the exact episode, and then you share it out. It's, you know, all these other social TV services that you have to start typing the name and find the exact episode. It's, that's where it's going. People don't want to do all the work. Our time's valuable. It's, devices need to be smart. And they're not. They're more of mini computer phones, not smartphones per se. Yep. And if you guys get a chance, uh, Gregarious, raise your hand. But my boy there, Greg, <laughs> he uh, has a really cool photo app called Shoot. It's not out yet. How, how, is it out? No, it's not out. When's it going to be out? April. April, okay. So this is another example of uh, apps with the storytelling. And uh, we, we need to get him to use the newer technology for it. Okay. With that. I'll bother him. How long are you guys here? Are you going to stay for music? I did in years past. Uh, I used to live in Dallas, so I've got family there and lots of friends here in Austin. But um, after, you know, this is nerd spring break, right? We're <laughs> the liver shots. I'm tired. I'm in my um, ninth life right now, yeah. so I have to go back to 
to the west side and relax. Yeah, I'm just hoping I don't get the south by southwest disease when I get home. I've been uh, nerd flu. Yeah, I've been bum I've been really taking my coldies and all that stuff in prep, so we'll see. Good. Well, I'm just getting started. I'm here for another like six <laughs> days, so yeah. I'm uh, I'm trying to pace myself. So when did you when did you get in? Did you? I came in on Saturday. I find okay, that so skipping a couple of days of nerd spring break is good for my. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a different route and talk about the the planning now with South by Southwest, how everything's starting to merge. There's a lot of really great musical acts that just played last night and then a couple of days before, and then Interactive is merging into music as increasingly music is focused on the digital.